Hello, I'm Lisa Itell, Senior Editor with Design World Magazine. Today we're here with Scott Sterling, Director of Sales from Nook Industries based in Cleveland, Ohio. This particular video covers how to size jacks, but look for other videos in this series that answer other common questions. So Scott, to begin, would you please talk about the proper way to size a worm screw jack for an application? And would you explain the parameters by which a worm screw jack is properly sized? Lisa, there are numerous factors to consider when selecting the correct jack size for an application. First, there's the basic tonnage rating of the jack. Simply, the overall capacity that a jack can handle without damaging the thrust bearings. Second would be the horsepower rating of the jack. It's common to overlook this rating, but it can often be the principal aspect in selecting a jack size. And how does the horsepower rating affect the size of the jack? As the jack is powered to move a given load, the inefficiencies of its components generate heat. The horsepower limit is set by the ability for the jack to dissipate the generated heat. The maximum horsepower value represents the point at which the jack can no longer dissipate the generated heat. Another factor in sizing a jack is the column strength of the lift shaft and the critical speed of that lift shaft. This can become an issue depending on the length of travel required and at what rate that load is required to travel. Nook Industries has several charts in our catalog and our website to help determine which jack is appropriate based on these two criteria. And Scott, aren't these jacks grease-filled? Yes, that's correct. And because the jacks are grease-filled, heat cannot transfer away from the primary components in the screw jack as efficiently as you would like. Therefore, jacks are limited to about 30% at full capacity. In essence, if there's a higher duty cycle needed for the application, a larger jack should be considered. Lastly, with ball screw jacks in particular, it is possible to size the jack to achieve a given amount of travel life. Ball screws are not unlike a radial bearing, where fatigue of the ball bearings can be anticipated. Both in our catalog and on our website, we offer information devoted to expected travel life of a given load with a given jack size. Well, Scott, thank you very much for yet another informative video. Uh, to find out more about the proper sizing of warm screw jacks, contact Nook Industries at 1-800-321-7800 or visit nookindustries.com. And thank you for watching.